Hi guys, welcome back to Daisy Maisie. And in today's video, I'm going to be reading You Can Print What? Written by Susan Lennox. Introduction. An, an industrial designer is hard at work creating a digital plan for a shoe you won't find in any store. She peers at the image on her monitor while using a special computer program to modify the shoe's shapes and size. When she's satisf satisfied with her work, she hits the print command. The printer at the other end of the room springs into action, whirring and humming. But it isn't printing just a picture of the shoe, it's creating an actual shoe. Welcome to the world of three-dimensional 3D painting, the latest technology for making models or po prototypes of almost anything imaginable. Well, what comes out of a 3D printer is quite different from what comes out of a conventional computer printer. However, both types of printers use the same concept, layering, to make their final product. From stamps to lasers, when most people think of printing, they imagine seeing a text or images on smooth surfaces such as a paper or cloth. The markings are made by applying a layer of ink onto the surface, either by hand or machine. Throughout history, a variety of printing techniques have been used to apply the ink. About 2,000 years ago, people in the Eastern Asia used a process called, known as silography, a war wood block printing. First, they drew an image on a block of wood. Next, they carved out the areas around the image. Then they coated the raised image that remained with ink and pressed it onto a flat surface. When they lift the book, a thin layer of ink in the shape of the raised image appeared. If you've ever used an ink stamp and stamp pad, you, you've used silography. And you probably know know that it would take a long time to film just one page with multiple stamped images. This problem was solved with the invention of the printing press in 1450. Jonas Gutenberg, a German blacksmith, invented the printing press, a machine that allowed the first mass, mass production of printed books. Instead of using one stamp at a time, many stamps are pieces of type were arranged in a tray when a piece of paper was pressed against the tray. In just one motion, a layer of inked type was pressed onto the entire page. This process made it much easier to produce multiple copies of the same page. Over hundreds of years, printing processes evolved. One technique called lith lithography uses water and oil. Images are transferred to books, pages on lithography, lithographic press. The printed surface contains both the image and the background areas on on level printing plate. The printing area is treated so that the image to be printed attracts oil-based inks. Since oil and water don't mix, the non-printed areas repel the inks. The lithographic process lithographic process was devised in 1796 and it is still today used today to print many magazines and books. In the 1950s, the first high-speed printer was invented for use with a computer called Univac, which stored data on spools of magnetic, magnetic tape. A modified typewriter was connected to print out the information from the tape. This computerized typewriter was able to print words and numbers much faster than any person possibly could. When desk desktop computers make became possible popular in the 1980s, inkjet printers made it possible for people to print digital images right at their desks. Data sent from the pr computer tells the printer which shapes it needs to print. The printer reads the data and makes those shapes by first heating a cartridge filled with ink. As the ink warms, pressure inside the cartridge rises. Then the ink shoots out of the cartridge through a nozzle or jet and forms layers on the paper. Laser printing technology was not was developed during the 1970s and did not come become available for person use until 1984. 
Laser printers use a process similar to lithography, but with a twist. Instead of coating the printing surface with oil, this printing process uses lasers to zap and electrically charged image onto the paper. Dry ink par- particles passed over the paper and are attracted to the electrically electrically charged image. A roller presses the particles to the paper and a printed page appears. 2D to 3D. In 1984, Charles Hull invented a process called stereolithography, or what we now call 3D printing. Hull worked as a design engineer. He often grew frustrated with the weeks and months it took to develop test and redesign prototype plastic parts. He set off to solve his problem, finding a quicker way to make prototypes. Hull soon realized that he could use a layering process to create three-dimensional objects. 3D printing was born. Stereolithography uses inkjet and laser printers technology to create three-dimensional objects instead of flat, two-dimensional images. First, an image is created and stored as data using computer software. Then, the data file is sent to 3D printer. The printer uses the file as a kind of road map that tells the printer head where to go. The print head is a tiny box with a nozzle or jet attached to it. It is suspended from a grid or metal bars that runs along and across a print bed. The platform on which the object will be made. The print head moves back and forth and side to side above the print bed. As it moves, a thin stream of material such as plastic is propelled out of the print head nozzle and onto the print bed. According to the information sent from computer image file, the material is stacked in micro layers as the print bed moves up and down as each layer is disposed disposited a laser heart heats and bonds the new layer to one beneath it bit by bit layer by layer a three-dimensional prototype of the image on the computer monitor rises from the print bed who's who's who in printing technology 1040 ad approximate by shang a Chinese printer invents the world's first known mov- movable type technology using clay characters. 1450. Jones Gutenberg, a German blacksmith, invents the printing press, which allows the first mass, mass production of printed books. 1796. Alois Neffelder, a German ac- author and actor, invents lithography as a cheap way to pr- print his plays. 1800. Lord Stanhope, a British scientist, builds the first cast iron printing press. 1846. Richard Hull, an American inventor, invents the first cylinder press. It can print 8,000 sheets an hour. 1886. Otmar Magenthaler, a German born American inventor, invents the linotype machine. This is the first device that can make a printing press arrange complete lines of type. 1938, Chester Carson, an American physicist and attorney, invents electrophotography, also known as Xerox. 1953, Remington Rand, an American business machine manufacturer, creates the first high-speed printer for the Univac computer. 1976, Garrick Starkweather, an American engineer, develops the first commercially used laser printer. 1984, Charles Hull, an American design engineer, develops and patents stereolithography, the process known as 3D painting printing. A new technology takes off. By early in the 21st century, stereolithography became the preferred method for creating prototype parts used in 
industry and manufacturing. A prototype could be designed, pro produced, and tested in a matter of hours or days rather than weeks or months. Nuts. Most early 3D prototypes were made of plastic. As the technology improved, others kind of materials such as ceramics and metals were also used to make objects. Being able to use a variety of materials expanded the possibilities for 3D pin printing. People from different fields saw this technology as a way to create customized items in a much shorter time. Designers could craft one-of-a-kind pieces of jewelry. Artists could create unique three-dimensional sculptures, and they could also do it affordably, since 3D printing uses only as much as material as is needed. 3D printing is for the birds. The ability to create customized 3D objects affordably has led to some amazing applications. When an engineer visited a wildlife rehabilitation center, he was struck by the plight of a bald eagle named Beauty. A hunter had shot off Beauty's beak, top beak making it impossible for her to hunt, eat, or preen herself. The engineer believed he had a 3D solution to Beauty's problem. Worker from an X-ray X-ray of Beauty's head, the engineer was able to design a plastic replica of Beauty's original beak on his computer. He then used a 3D printer to create the replica beak. Beauty had surgery to permanently attach the new beak, and she can now drink, eat, and clean herself like a normal eagle. Have a heart or heart or a liver, engineers and scientists. Are developing a way to create real human organs using the layering technique to view, fuse living cells and form human tissue. A gel containing special cells taken from a patient's body is layered to form the correct shape, then cubed it for a time to let the cells mature and bond each other. Scientists have made ears, lungs, and livers using this technique. Researchers are now working on creating a human heart made of both natural tissue and artifact artificial materials. People who receive 3D organs may avoid the usual problem faced by transparent transplant patients' rejection of the new organ whenever a form body object is introduced into the body, the immune system treats it as a threat and attacks it. Transparent patient must take special medicine after surgery so their immune system doesn't, doesn't destroy the transplanted organ. This medicine may help also make patients more prone to infection. However, it is the organ is made from the patient's own cells. Rejection is less likely to occur. Patients may not have to take as much medicine and they heal and recover more quickly with fewer co complications. A home like no other. Some 3D engineers have taken this technology to new heights. Literally, a team of architects and am Amsterdam is using a giant portable version of a 3D printer to build a three-story house out of plastic. The machine creates interlocking bricks from layers of melted plastic that will be assembled in 13 rooms. Construction will take three years, a long time by house building standards. The team hopes this the team hopes this experiment will open the door to new ways of thinking about home constructions using manufacturing process such as 3D painting printing. The future the future of 3D printing holds endless possibilities. This amazing technology allows people to customize all sorts of products from plastic dental braces to apartment-sized furniture to buildings. As the technology continues to evolve, 3D printers may be used in rather unusual situations such as long-term space missions. With a 3D printer on board their spacecraft, astronauts could would be able to manufacture replacement parts should old parts break down or design and create new devices to help them live in space. This inno innovative, innovative technology could help humans survive as their ex 
as they explore strange new worlds.